Hi folks, this is Sachin from Zoho. If you're watching this video, you're probably looking to learn more about e-invoicing. In the following series of videos, we will be explaining e-invoicing in the simplest terms possible. So, buckle up. The standard definition of an e-invoice says that it's a document issued, received and processed electronically that mentions the sum due for goods and services. Recently, the GST Council changed the format for reporting B2B invoices to the GST system. They introduced a new portal called the IRP, which is an abbreviation for Invoice Registration Portal. And this portal validates the uniqueness of every invoice. According to the new e-invoice standards, these are what an e-invoice should have. First, the IRN, which stands for Invoice Reference Number. This number is unique for each invoice and can be generated by the IRP. Second, a digital signature which is simply encrypted JSON data returning from the IRP. The digital signature is mandatory for each invoice to be valid. The digital signature should also not be confused with the signature of the taxpayer. Third, a QR code for which the data is also generated by the IRP. The QR code can be scanned at any time to view the invoice. As per the predefined template, an e-invoice must include mandatory fields such as invoice date, invoice number, buyer and seller's GST identification number, their address, HSN code, tax scheme and more. The e-invoice can also include optional fields such as vehicle number, the transporter's ID and more. When an invoice comprises all of these required fields, it becomes a valid e-invoice. Stay tuned to our e-invoicing masterclass series as we'll be coming up with more videos on the same. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.